Two armors, I've only got a minute left. I already wrote 146. So ashamed. You know what we're calling that? That's okay. Dad tax. That's okay. It's okay. Okay. In five, four, three, two, and one. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Gaming with Dad. We just peed down a uh, chimney. Ooh. And. I failed to be able to open a can of Monster. I'm very upset. <laughs> it's okay. I, I just tried to pour myself a right now. <laughs> Except that it's not on. in the public domain. Yes. And I don't want to get sued. Again. Okay, there we go. Finally, we've got the skeleton key through the door. Well, the twins have the run of the house now. <laughs> what kind of mischief will they get into next? Uh, I'd like to burn the place down. How is that? Bookshelf. Look, I don't want to stereotype Ooh, here, but has there ever been a set of twins that weren't evil? This should do that, twins. Oh, good lord. I am so glad out of all four children, nobody was a twin. Oh, I feel like you'd be very real lucky there. Considering what I got, uh, I might have been luckier with twins. Perhaps instead of a pony, I can buy you one of those new motor carriages. They don't startle as easily or die in unexplained barn fires. Oh dear God. I have a feeling Daddy toasted the toasted the ponies. No. <laughs> I think the children toasted the ponies. And now we got the dog food. We have now reached the grimmest part of our grim story. For that small box shoved into the corner is the ticket out of this house for the twins. Let's watch, shall we? <laughs> if you dare. You know how much the twins hate that barking. Hey, for a moment, forgot that we had other players. Three episodes ago. <laughs> you thought we were just the children. Oh, it's your favorite. Are you break dancing there? What the fuck? I was, I was failing to figure out how to stare. Oh, uh, we've turned off the steam. Time to poison Mommy and Daddy. You know, it would have been nice and suspenseful if they hadn't spoiled it with the fucking flashback. Rat poison. <laughs> you know, if one were to examine this box of rat poison carefully, the instructions would read, One small thimbleful added to food will cause intense, horrifying, and excruciating death. Side effects include tingling, blurred vision, occasional dryness of the mouth, and getting to go outside and play. Oh, dear. Oh, oh this soup is for us, not the rats. Oh, go play with that rat poison somewhere else. Hmm. I need to find a way to poison the soup, but I need to get mommy away from the soup. Puppy. You know I'd let you go out and play, but your mom is almost ready with our supper. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. 
I do, unfortunately. Hit the dog. Haunt the dog. Again, another phrase I never thought I'd have to say again. Please stop your barking. You don't want to upset the twins like the last dog did. The soup is ready and it smells delightfully delicious. Why don't you two darlings go wash up for dinner? Don't take too long or we might start without you. <laughs> well, use the sink upstairs that I imagine. Yes. So it would make the sound of washing up. Doing as they're told? <laughs> the twins might be turning over a new leaf. Poor mommy and daddy. No one got them. <sighs> you see, this is why I never had kids. Well, that and being a cave with no real form of reproduction. But that's beside the point. The point is, the twins... Well, I don't know if there is a point to their madness. But they may find their newfound freedom comes at a cost greater than they're capable of imagining. And as with the rest of our travelers, and perhaps even you, I guess only time will tell. Shall we continue our journey? It's been so enlightening thus far. Ooh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Future lady. Now we get to find out what's up this future girl. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that tonight. Oh, we got four more minutes. Uh, okay. I don't know what to tell you. We've got a gaping maw. Uh, oh. No doubt you have realized by now wow, that here abilities. in the cave, the rules of time and space are not exactly no time well time set in really. stone, so to speak. Where's the police <laughs> but for the time traveler, time and space are mere playthings, tools manipulated yes, to pay back petty costumes. slights. <laughs> so, prepare yourselves for a tale of revenge that spans a million years. The Sting of Acolytes from Cold. So, so far what we've figured out is she's jealous because some guy took her parking spot. And remember, even with the best of intentions, time travel can be unpredictable. And with the worst of intentions, well, I guess we're about to see. <laughs> All of these tales oh, I'm pressure. sorry, I was just trying to scare you. Yes. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use that to get up to the uh, fuse. Maybe, maybe at first, yes. <laughs> but uh, the second time around, you use it to get the mud. I stopped the mud. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow, that one was brilliant. Oh. I guess that does actually help you out, doesn't it? I'm a little confused by her time travel power because it appears just to allow her to go through. It is imperative to metal doors. Or no, that's or stopped by Mark metal doors. Sorry. No, if you look, it's glowing blue like the rest of her. Oh. So it must be quantum locked. At least that's my head cannon that I'm going to go for. Yeah, and it may actually be the first head cannon for the cave. Sweet. Let's be trendsetters. Okay, we're a little bit late. This game came out on the 360. Let's. Time travel? Go! Oh. Behold, science! Greatest employee of all time. Oh, it's you. Where's the rat poison? Well, we I'm fired you. <laughs> Still sore about getting passed over for greatest employee of all time? <laughs> I'm sure you saw my commemorative photo on the way in. Don't feel bad. My family has been working here for generations. I take that back. Do feel bad. 
This exhibit features the ancient combustion engine. Well, personality must not be a big hiring point here. Hibernator. In the early 21st century, humans used these primitive engines to, to power combustion. everything. Don't we all? Nope, touching the exhibits. Well, okay. Although no actual rank buttons have ever been uncovered, top archaeologists He's wearing the bucket were commonly on his head. used as some kind of head accessory it, from the 1940s a, It's like the Mr. Bean and Adolf Hitler had an illegitimate they child. They several styles and colors to protect... Uh. Archaeologists have yet to determine the original use of the Smurf. Thousands of these strange artifacts have been recovered at ancient dig sites around the world. People living in long That is actually now giving me something to think about. I mean, what I'm holding right now is a controller. What if future generations dig this up and find their name is something else? I have Like a smurf. Jealousy runs deep. Okay, letter openers. Death through office supplies. Uh, I was failing to figure out how to walk. Hey kids, yes. smell like a real live dinosaur with our newest interact now, you smell like a stinky old dinosaur. Isn't that great? Um, I hate to point it to the, point, break it to the game, but Spoon smelled like a stinky old dinosaur before <laughs> that happened. Press the button. Okay. I'm looking for a natural breaking point here. Besides, uh, we're should, stuck. No, I should be able to start the combustion engine thanks to this. If you think about it. Oh, dear God. You, you see the logic in it now, don't you? <sighs> well, as much as what this game has had logic. Intake. Uh -huh. Guess who got the greatest employee of all time award? Not you. <laughs> He's not even reacting to the fact that it's more like a very old dinosaur. Okay. We're just gonna let this go a couple of more minutes here, folks, to figure out what the hell's going on here. Hooray, pointless. <laughs> Congratulations, you just made yourself undateable. <laughs> I need a bucket. Let me a bucket. Although no actual rank buttons have ever been uncovered, top archaeologists believe they were commonly used as some kind of... Greatest employee of all time says, No touching the exhibits! I figured I would try. Maybe it wouldn't recognize me for all the static. I was wrong in me. You're looking it up, aren't you? Oh, switch to your teammates. Okay, the rock was supposed to not form. Can you travel to the past? I don't have to go back to the time machine, yes. We were not thinking three-dimensionally. Actually, four-dimensionally. It's the other three dimensions that I wasn't worried about. <laughs> Who needs X, Y, and Z? And Z. We, we need time. The puzzle's impossible to solve now. The greatest employee of all time award comes with a pretty big ring. Have I rubbed that in yet? Okay, travel back to the past. Okay, all the way to the past. It says, nope. That one. Got the bricks, which is where the people are. Travel to the people. There's the past. Now go to where the rock. Okay. Yes. Ah, prehistory. My formative years. Oh, look, it's the employee of the year. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. Now I have fought four dimensionally. Or we've read a walk to the fourth dimension. Don't walk or don't mention the walkthrough. <laughs> Let yes. me sound smart. I need this. Dan Dan becomes infinitely more smart at past ten ten o'clock and four drinks. See, it's the employee of the all time. Yeah. Especially four down. A smurg? Yes, smurg. Or maybe not. I have a feeling if I go where the exhibits were, that might help. It sounds crazy, but it just might be doable. Yep, because I can move that out of the way. She already killed this guy? I mean, yeah. So, you know what? We're, we're, we're gonna call this one long. And. Dog want wheel roll! We'll pick this up next time on Gaming with Dad. <laughs>